in today's video I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday. Um, I just hopped on fully equipped and um, did four different games with four different spell slingers. I hope you guys enjoy it and thank you for watching. Alright, so I'm just going to go down the list, I think, again for this event. I didn't realize the four that I did are all right next to each other. Um, so, next one was just Nyssa, so I don't even have to think about it. I'm just going to play the next one. Looks like the wait times haven't improved since yesterday, but, you know, that's okay. Hmm. I guess I'll uh, stop recording and just hit play whenever it happens. Um, the other day it took like three, four minutes. It was crazy. Okay, we have a Chandra. Um, I mean, we have a lot of uh, creatures and we have a lot of board wipes, so uh, maybe this can work. This is my... Uh, School of the Wizard, like, board wipe Nissa list. That's pretty weird, but I like it. As you guys know, this is probably, like, too late. Um, yeah, I guess I'll keep the two creatures. I just kind of want to keep creatures. That's perfect. I thought I took this out the other day for something else when I was looking at this list. This is going to be doo-doo. So we might actually start this video off with a loss here. Um, I'm just gonna, well, I can't actually just pass because, um, I can't save the mana gem with this guy anyway. Hmm. I might get whooped on a little bit at the beginning here. Chandra was not prevalent in the meta before this. Oh, maybe the stuff I draft will help me. See if we can get some anti... Come on, man. I guess I am going to play this. I don't want to take four damage from this thing. Unless I can draft a one drop. Ah, let's go. Um. I guess. I feel like if I if I play this, he's just gonna mess with it and hit me for two more. So let's just do this. I can also get more value out of this if I top deck something big, and I'm just gonna play this next turn. Okay, I was thinking it was gonna play Minotaur, but this is really good for me. So yeah, we're just gonna play this. The wild has your back. So my next card has to be familiar, right? Which I'm not going to play, obviously. This is weird. You go low, Ooh, we got go a flyer, high. eh? Look at this. Pick your poison. Plummet, of course. That was quite a good card for them to draft. So we have four mana next turn, so we're gonna go plummet into this or plummet into like a. Well, I'm not gonna play this for two two when this is already a two two. So, I guess I could have attacked, see if he blocked, and then um, stagged. But I can do that next turn. And he might have. You go low. Yeah. Go high. Oh no, I wouldn't have been able to target anyway. So, doesn't this give him mana? Oh no, that's a, that's a good one. So I could kill this and this. I think I think I like that actually. I'm going to try and set it up to where this dies from stag. So yeah. I guess I should have just won with the 3 4. But now he's enticed to do it, so that's not too bad and um basically guarantees I can get rid of the flyer next turn, so a little sloppy, a little sloppy. How did I draw all three of these? Like, what the heck? Like, bro. Oh, familiar isn't guaranteed because I shuffled more stuff on the top, I guess. This is stupid, though. Like, how did I get possibly get all three? Like, I wanted to um, draft this for the uh, Crusher Worms, for the fight effects, and stuff like that. Okay, well, now Stag has a new target, for sure. So... There's that. Such strength. Let 
This is actually pretty cool. There's no way they block, right? If I must. Yeah. Okay. Man, those burn throughs have been doing all right, huh? Still can't believe my hand, man. That's really goofy. Okay, I'll take the low impact turn. That's cool. Five five crap. Well, we're never gonna attack you until we board wipe you, so. Let's get some value. It's not the best, but needs more mana. I'm actually gonna do this because the scion in this trades into one thing, you know, into one of these. I'm really glad that's not the one that deals one damage three times. That would mess up my board. Oh come on! My board wipes have been so diluted by the drafting as well. This is probably a really bad deck for event. But probably, I mean, it is. Um, yeah, so we're gonna take the trade on that. Next turn, I'm probably just gonna play these two. Can you keep a secret? is at a base copy. Oh, shame. Hmm. Definitely not playing this, right? Um I want to know everything. I am but a herald. <laughs> Seems decent. Good news, we almost have our starting number of cards in the deck now. Look, it's not going to my face, that's cool. That sucks. That actually really sucks. Okay. Well, we might lose because of this super awkwardness. There's no way I'm giving them a card. Might as well use the mana now. If they've got something to deal with artifacts, you know, good for them. Yeah, and they're getting an extra card, so. It's a really bad showcase for this list. Um, getting bogged down by the drafting is definitely no good. And the combo deck was the other one I was thinking about playing because there's only two lists I have, and the combo deck would have been even worse because we never would see the combo, right? So. And this is just not the play. Oh, I'm definitely blocking the 2 1, right? Okay. Give me a Crusher Worms off the top. Pretty please. Or any of the board wipes or. You know, that's like, might be the, I have to do this now. Well, there goes the win con. But I mean, I literally have to, right? Yeah, and there's no sequence that saves me anymore. I guess Crusher Worms could technically take it since I have uh, this. But yeah, this is a really bad showcase here. Yeah, so <laughs> the grudge matches with the crab they took. Um, it's been really bad. If it was old grudge match, I'd be okay. But, yeah. Alright, so we're taking five at least. It's possible we could top a uh, board wipe, but then they'd also have to not have a hasty boy. Alright, so let's just see what the top deck is. Can't believe we drew all three of these like that fast, too. It's really dumb. Uh, a little late there, buddy. 
I'm gonna leave the sixth one because, um. We have fun, right? It's like, bro. Why are, why are people so stupid? So, I mean, technically, I have a block and it's only two, but there's no way he doesn't have one reach somewhere. Yeah. Exactly. Bro, they're so good, don't you know? So, I haven't played Ashiok in a hot minute, so I just wanted to pivot over to Ashiok just for the lols. The um, most recent version I made had the millstones in it because um, that was a way to beat out, like, super grindy... Uh, control stuff, but now that Maniac's a thing, um, I am not running Millstone, right? So we just have to dodge the uh, Jace, and um, then we might actually be able to have some fun. But um, who knows? Who knows? Forgot about the super long wait time again. Okay, so we got a roll. So we can actually have a fun game. I don't remember if this list runs uh, negates. I just um, picked the one that said Prime in it. Um, I looked at the other one that had millstones, and I was like, no, this isn't the right one. And I glanced over this list, and I was like, sure, I'll play this one. But I don't remember if it had negates. I hope it does, but probably not. I think after the nerf, I got... Um, that's actually going to be really good. I'm keeping this entire hand. Um, this is really good against Raw. But... Um, I had to take out the negates and stuff like that after the Ashiok nerf. Because um, you needed to make more nightmares, right? I really don't want it to hit Scour the Void. I want it to stay 6. But. Yeah, it could be worse, I guess. All I gotta do is pair it with any other spell at that point. What are they playing? They have the artifact land, so what they're playing scepters and like some of the tomes. This is like a little engine. I'm at a complete loss right now. Right? Is this correct? Oh, this looks kind of, kind of good. I don't know. This milling them, potentially milling the um, uh, nightmare seems good. Ooh, I'm taking that. Yeah, that seems kind of silly. Let's get it started, right? Hit shock, hit shock, hit shock, hit shock. Yes. That's how we do that. Rage quitter. <laughs> That's actually really funny. After you summon artifact, this slips into something scary. So, no. Um, and like always, we're going to do this as quickly as possible. Um, I actually really like Repulse here. And then this is free. And then we're gonna poke. Ashiok's so much fun when the meta's, like, not broken. Okay, and hopefully Hedwig here gets us a bunch of pokes. Yeah, this, this stuff is way too slow. Have you tried turning it off and on again? I want to play Harmonican and Lorekeeper on the same turn. I'll take that. Seems pretty good against him. I can stun like a big sneak thing he might have in the future, or I can get rid of one of the actual troublesome artifacts, so. Your thoughts are an open door. It's quite the package he has here. Get 
Okay, so we're just gonna bounce the wolf, probably. Let's keep the one that can attack. They would both die to crab anyway. This dies to shock, but... That's okay. The, the damage I might get from the sneak and potential uh, going deeper for the Nightmare Mills is probably the right choice. Let's see what we get before we do things. That seems like that's good. Hmm. I know I said I wanted to wait, but like 2 and 2 seems really good. I know I'm doing this regardless. Let's go ahead and just do this, even though it's a little bit less mana efficient. It loves to give me the uh, panharmonicans when I draft them, apparently. Two turns away from mastery. I almost have the uh, premium school of the wizard complete. If I ever get low on cards, this is going to be crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I'll uh, play two cards, but they also replace themselves. So, and there's the shock I mentioned earlier. I want to use this after he uses um, chaos lightning, just to have the you know chance to pull it right. You got nine nightmares in here? That's not too bad. Okay, now I get it. The one damage I'm getting from here is my is probably gonna be more valuable than this, as weird as that seems. Poke. Get some of that health back just from the uh, nightmares, right? This card does so much work when it gets ignored. This is so much work. Ooh, that is quite good for them. I have a blocker though. I was gonna say this is exactly 13. If I sack this, or well, 7, 8, 9, um, yeah, 13. Oh, I guess I would have had 14. No, what? Oh, no, no, no. 4, 7, 11, and then uh, 16. This can almost deal with this whole board. Oh, no, it can now. I forgot the head fleeting. So, 7, and then this. I think Hedwig has done the work now. I think we're just going to clean this up, right? It's like Chaos Lightning, but guaranteed face doesn't go phase, right? Face oh, that's right, I take one every time. Coward. That's okay. It's better than face them having a board, coward. right? I'll we'll just take two. Face me, coward. Now, hopefully he doesn't have, like, double uh, me, Chaos Lightning, because that's how I could lose. No death. Now, please draw some Nightmares. I need some health, please. No Nightmares. Um, probably just gonna go mastery and shock next turn. Call me Dragon's Bane. Okay, it's annoying that he um Okay. Alright, this is really scary. Maybe this could give me something to heal, perhaps. I don't want to mastery, I want to try and find something to heal with. I'll wait till that turns into something I want. That's not too bad. 
Um. One must forbid one's crap. Just trying to put in as many nightmares as I can. There's 20, so I should really be healing soon. You know, unless uh, unless he just dodges drawing 20 of them. That's really, really unlucky by me. It has fleeting, right? Okay, at least there's that. Yeah, I'm just gonna nightmare spam. Could I pretty please, you know, get him to top deck some nightmares if he has 23 of them? Yeah, I'm about to say. Call me Dragon's Bane. Nice work out there. Nice work out there. All things must end. Just top deck a nightmare, please. Open your mind. Let's see, four, five, six, seven. I don't know, I'd rather just. Yeah. Okay. Interesting deck. I just think stuff like that's really slow. Um, but you know, it's just a fun, fun format, right? So the deck I queued up with is just a fun, like Vraska ramp deck. Um, there's nothing competitive about it. It's got. Um, Whatever that 10 drop black spell is that like brings all your crap back, and then um, Epitome of Might and uh, Crusher Worms and stuff like that. So it's just for fun. Not that I don't think you could at least get to like Diamond with it, but just gotta avoid the try hard Jace, and we should be okay. Alright, cool. So we actually got a Kiora. Um, whenever the meta gets fixed, um, December 9th, I think, is the date. Um, I'm going to mess around with Kiora and play the um, the new 3-drop spell. I really like this hand. Yeah, I like this hand a lot. I like having some draw power, some removal, some more draw power, plus an early blocker. Yeah, and this deck runs the Druid class because we're trying to ramp and we're just trying to play big dumb stuff. So, what's big and dumb? Green. See? They know. It's a little worrisome that I don't have a board wipe of any kind, so their board could mess me up. Well, I'm not taking the other two. And I'm going to take Invisibility Cloak. I have Soul of the Wood. That can end up doing a lot of damage with with this artifact. A lot of chinky, uh, cheeky little uh, combos I can do now. Interesting. This is obviously part of our ramp package. This is in case we ever run out of cards. Which really shouldn't mm -hmm. happen in Vraska, but... You know. I don't know why we can't just draft at the same time. That would be, you know, it's crazy. Do, do, do. These games are a little bit longer, so this will probably be the last one. Chandra and Gideon, you know, those games are fast. Give me a second. Okay. Ah. 
Is it saying the rules they get shuffled in like the top of whatever? Because it seems like you pull a lot of uh, Have you tried turning it off and on duplicates again? soon. I have nothing to do next turn. There we go. Rouse the beast within. They want to block, that's really great. I'll gladly go to nine cards. Okay. I think this invisibility cloak just makes me think of Harry Potter, but um, I think that's going to mess him up. It'd be so rude if they got like lava wave or something. Both trying to build big boards and they've got a sweeper. The ramp spell next turn would be sweet, sweet. And we're just going to attack with everything next turn. If we don't, uh, to try and draw the uh, ramp spell. That makes sense. It wasn't the ramp spell. But now we have an even higher chance of drawing the ramp spell. Um, yeah, they're both the same attacks. So there's no reason not to block here. Okay. And now we can go Titan into uh, Dino if we uh, draw the Dino within like two turns. Yeah, there's their ramp. Kind of wish we hadn't uh, matched up against something else that's trying to ramp. And that's like obviously so much better at it than we are. Oh, is that into the other ramp spell? That's nasty. If it is, I should have played it first to see if this got the buff. I'm very confused. Oh, it's Worm's Wake, isn't it? Is it Worm's Wake? Yeah. That's a little scurry. We do have Crusher Worms, which is nice. So we could, um... We could go Dino into Crusher Worms. It seems like that's a really big board for them to deal with, right? Don't... That's real sad. I think I'm just going to take six. I'm not even, not even playing. I want the ramp. Yeah, I want the ramp. No, I'm not giving you that. I want the ramp. If I don't top deck the dino, then this into like... I don't know, even just playing this out is fine. Alright, we drew the dino. Hmm. You know what, I need to save this for their dino, so actually I should have just blocked. I don't know, I get one ramp this way. Six damage for a ramp doesn't seem like a terrible uh, exchange, right? Trample them. Healing yourself. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't just healing in general. And they're going to play theirs now. It doesn't even matter if my... Yeah, that, see, it was right because even if this land procs now, I can play Crusher Worms. I brought back up. I was really expecting um, the dino this turn. Well, I'm only going to play one thing, so. That's. You know, before I give it away. Let's attack. Since I have pain cast, I'm not going to play birds, right? I'm expecting their dino now. Hmm. Do, do, do. Feels nice playing different stuff. I wonder if they have Puffin and they're wondering if it's not a good thing to play right now. That's an interesting card for them to have. Maybe it's the one that um, gives a bunch of bonuses and that's why they're playing the sneak creature. That would make sense. Give me a second. 
I will block with my dino and make you waste another card on it. He's just trying to ramp. I respect that. Is it a trap card? No. Impossible. All right, now we'll see if he has some kind of like fight effect. If he doesn't, then I'm just gonna punch really hard with the worms. Pick your poison. Okay, I mean, that doesn't like super help. I can actually swing with everything still because the um, Dino's gonna heal for two, right? Okay, what's the best course? I think I want to just make this huge, right? Let's see what they do first. Before I decide on how... If I'm going to draw twice or just make a giant flyer, he must answer. It'll stop him from playing the buff guy and it'll stop him from playing the sneak guy. Uh, unless, no, the sneak guy has reach, doesn't it? But if he wants to block it, it's fine. Yeah, so now I'm going to do this, and then set up the cloak. These souls are mine. Do I even need to do this? Yeah, let's just do it. I don't, I don't think I've ever actually done it on my channel before. I've always gone for the draw. Um... Let's go ahead and just play this out in case I draw a soul to wood. I can summon it and then Birds of Paradise, and that'll do six damage. Then they only have one of the three Leviathans, so. Okay, they did pick Plummet. I didn't know if they would pick um, Naturalize because, you know, obviously I run Throne, right? But, you know. Whatever. Yep, that's cool. I've got foul for one blocker, so he really needs, um, I guess Puffin deals with two things just temporarily because, you know, I mean, I can just make a whole new board if he bounces stuff, but, okay, now we'll see what the Leviathan is now that he's done pretending like he's not going to play one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Did he draft these? I mean, he played more than two, right? He played like four of them. Okay. Um, and this just says when I heal, it damages them, right? Okay. I want to save the foul for the dino, otherwise I'm never going to get through. Let's draw. You don't die in vain. Okay, not quite what I wanted. I know that looks weird. I just want to give something big ward that it, that will block this thing. The baboon answers this. This can chump here. Then I can foul. Um, give that thing one of the fatal infections. So we'll see. Now if they back this up with um, the bounce, I might be in trouble. Completely side note thing. I've been on like a horror movie binge lately. If anyone has any recommendations for me, put that in the comments, would you? It's hard to find a good horror movie. I've watched so many crappy ones. Even the crappy ones are decent though. I feel like it's like the only movie genre that hasn't been obliterated. 
I'm so sick of like the Marvel formula of like uh, comedy action scene, comedy action scene. Like I just saw Black Adam and I could not stand the movie. Well, I mean, do I just take 10? Is that like, is that cray cray? No, I can't, I can't take, I can't take 10, right? Now with another trampler on the board. Now I'm gonna draw Soul of the Wood when it's too late. What is this? Uh, I need to stop drawing these crappy things. Alright, so... Let's kill that thing. Let's do that to that thing. You know, my hand honestly sucks. I want to trade it. For a different hand. That's helpful. Yeah. My hand was just a bunch of nothing. Five defense, this is four damage. I've got a bunch of chumps here. Even if he bounces two things, I have uh, two chumps. So, can't be too bad. I mean, he could, like, Mist Raven and then bounce two things. Um, really want to fill up my board with this. Yeah, there we go. I knew he had it. I could feel it. Um, really scary if I go under 10 when he gets to 20, so I really need to heal some. We we're so close. We just had so many, like, um, really bad draws. I mean, it's not over yet, but... Mm. And even if um, I had the uh, demon draw twice, I mean, it was in the stuff that wasn't that great. You know what? I'm going under 10 anyway. But I don't know. Soul of the Wood. I need to preserve my life for Soul of the Wood. Okay, there's the, you know, Mist Raven type effect I was talking about. Yeah, so now I'm going to have to take 6. This makes more sense. So I've got to take nine. Yeah, this is not good. Dude, how many of these are I going to draw, man? That's helpful. Oh, yeah, that was the other combo Shadows of the Past with this thing. Yep, that happened. Okay, we'll see. He can't deal with this. He, he, he can't kill me this turn. So he has to have um, a bunch of removal. Or uh, two more blockers, something like that. I brought back up. Yep. Hmm. So I, I like have to kill him this turn, which I don't think I can do. I have to draw solo wood. Um, and then I can deal with six damage. So... Please just let me draw solo wood, man. So I can just attack, and then... Um, no, I can't, because I'll lose too much for my blocks. No! Stay back! Alright, pass back to me. It's happening! Dude, what are these top decks? It says reach. Yeah. It do. It has reach. If that's something to remove this, I'm dead. <laughs> this can just chump something. I love it. I can't swing, right? So I swing with these four. I can't afford for anything to happen to this thing. Because I, I don't want it to be like... Well, I guess Grudge Match still does it anyway. I, it needs to be at least big enough to survive this. So... Man. I was really banking on a soul of the wood with this thing. 
All right, can you remove this for game? I don't know why I'm playing with my hair so much. My bad. Maybe it's like my new nervous tick. I don't know. I knew we had a grudge match, dude. I felt it. Okay, you don't have to play anything else. You can just swing. I didn't pay attention. Was that grudge match top decked or not? I don't think it was. But man, so many, so many nothing burger draws. Um, but I guess it's gonna happen when you shuffle uh, six cards into. I mean, six doesn't even seem like it's that much, but uh, that kind of makes me want to do one more. I might do one more. So right at the beginning of the format, before Jace was found out to be, you know, just so OP, I wanted to make a new Teferi deck because Teferi just got buffed, got a bunch of traps. So this is a Maniac deck with Teferi, but, um, you know, we just go through our deck by, uh, you know, having a bunch of traps. So I think it's the first, um, no, not the first Teferi deck without School of the Wizard, but it's the first school um, non-School of the Wizard Teferi deck since um, School of the Wizard came out. Okay, so we have Kiora. Don't know if it's the same one, but if it is, um, we should be completely fine this time. And um, I don't feel super grimy losing or winning this with this deck. Is going to be epic. Um, okay, it's not the same one unless they change their land, so I doubt it. Um, I like a little bit more proactive hand, but. I'm not gonna turn it down. It's time. Hello, little friend. It's time. Wish I had um, resilient spheres in here. Actually, I think I do. Oh, come on. Um, well, I want that. I don't play creatures. What a bunch of dookie. I guess I am gonna take this. Yes, like jeez. My drafts were not good. And you know, it's obviously gonna be a little harder to get through my deck. Um, since it's, you know, eight cards thicker now, but it can make me not feel dirty for running this strategy. Now we gotta wait for them to draft. That's not going to stop me from playing when this land is just going to heal me too at some point anyway. Might be able to actually get like some kind of a beats plan going on. I like this card a lot. It's alive. Oh, that's so flavorful. It's Little Red Riding Hood and she turns into a werewolf because she met the big bad wolf. That's funny. Could have done that last turn. Forgot it was there. Not going to lie. Um... Seems like a good turn as any. Smack. I'm gonna use the absorbs to stop the Leviathans, so I'm gonna keep those for a little while. Um, it's really cool that this actually kills um, stuff with Ward. It's just the strongest. Like it does suck that they have to like actually um, deal the damage though. Okay, I know what this is. Alright, let's draft an upgrade. Oh no, it just gives it a random upgrade. What did it give you? Reach, okay. Might as well do that. Might be in for another super long game. I had so many bad draws with that Braska deck, it was unreal. 
How refreshing. Yeah. How refreshing. It's pretty good. I'm gonna try and beat the crap out of him though. There's no like rule in this game about legendaries, right? Okay. That's actually really cool. Unstable mutagen seems cracked. Yeah, good. Let me mop this board up. Haven't used any traps yet. What a strange game. That's pretty slow. I was wondering if they were gonna pass and then buff this thing, but I think that's the same one. Do these stack? I'll find out if they stack. For science. Or they do stack. That's pretty sick, nasty. That's cool. I'll even get it. Um, this will get two drafts for what it's worth. If I end up beating them to death with these things, this is like the weirdest game ever. I'm supposed to just sit back and spam a bunch of traps, but the audience I deserve. Yeah. Uh, so that's the. <laughs> Biggest vindictive shot target I've ever seen. Uh, okay, there we go. I would have liked to have drawn that. Let's run through our stuff. Now this is the part where it feels like I'm, you know, playing a gadget, set in five. It's good stuff. If anyone would be interested in me playing on Dueling Network, um, playing some Edison format, let me know. I wouldn't be opposed to doing that for some fun. Hmm. Hmm. Get out of here with your plot. Not today. My It's Alive is going to be so small. But then I'm also going to uh, draw twice, so that's okay. Hmm. Gotta do damage for my vindictive shot to kill it. That's kind of cracked. I'm just not gonna cast anything, I'm gonna arm traps. And now we're gonna arm. Oh, it counts as me casting it? That's dumb. That's big, stupid. Right on but, I mean, he's gonna take seven. See what I mean about drawing the duplicates early? It's pretty silly. This has sneak, so... Oh, you know what? I should have played this. It could have gotten haste. I'm dumb. Just don't get haste, so I won't be mad at myself. Okay, cool. I'm not going to play those and continue to do damage to myself. This is so weird. This is just absolutely bizarre. But, you know, I'll take it. So we got seven in the air, so... Uh, no, excuse me, we have nine in the air, but one has sneak, which is even better. And we have an absorb, so... He looks very dead. Girl, please. Nope, try again. Bye bye. All right, that was that was pretty satisfying. Why didn't you just scoop? Why'd you pass? I don't like when people fake out. They're gonna give you the last attack. So I went two and two, so I lost like four hundred gold. Uh, but you know it's okay. It's for the video, but it's completely unscripted. I just logged on. I was like, what do I want to do? And I just pick four Spell Slinger's four decks, but um, you didn't really get to see how the Teferi deck is supposed to operate. 
um, because that legendary is just OP. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.